Hello, ladies, gents, and violently exploding victims. One of these days, I will not butcher the intro. I am not taking it back. In other, uh, among other reasons, because I'm already in the daily challenge. So how the hell could I take it back? I would have to give up forever the opportunity to get to the end of the Cosmic Ocean while also beating the score of every other Cosmic Ocean nautic no no uh uh what's the word <laughs> not cosmic ocean not there you go <laughs> look the brain may not be working at 100 percent today i'm trying to find some way to whip this arrow that doesn't involve me putting my neck in the line but I, i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it and it is very possible this lizard would end my life i'll take the point of uh, point of damage <laughs> it looks like an arrow trap just saved my life! Holy crap! That was very traumatic experience. My life flashed in front of my ass, etc, etc. Why am I throwing this lizard places? I, I am just full of spite. I just want these damn lizards to go away and stop molesting me. Because they upset me great. We will make no comment about this incredibly sneaky spider that managed to find the exact moment to destroy me not the greatest start but you know what arrow traps to the face happen all the time early in the daily challenge you recover you're fine there's going to be turkeys there's going to be all kinds of ways to make up this life deficit you just gotta have faith murder destruction obliteration ah, the last one hurt a bit though <laughs> the last daily challenge hurt quite a bit there was also a comment and i appreciate it get out away from me pointed out hey you use a rope or a resource so many times instead of you know taming the damn animal and using it to go back up unfortunately i cannot do it here because I would like I need to take the turkey all the way back but yeah I definitely underuse rideable rideable mounts it is just something it's I feel it's so unreliable you know what I'm saying if I, it feels so much like we want two ropes to get back up to Cali ah, that's all right um the controls are so alien in the sense that they're slightly different and it always feels like they're going to make the difference between life and death hell yeah climbing gloves are great love them get me to the exit i think the key is to just embrace banter that is what needs to happen here embrace banter not even think about the gameplay uh make it all second nature let me trigger this damn arrow trap. Concentrate not in all the terrible things that can happen. This is a terrible, absolutely obnoxious totem. Let me get rid of that. This is problematic for sure. <laughs> this is a, a bad uh, shop to have. I would like it to look this way. You absolute buffoon. Correct. And we leave. We leave right now. <laughs> I'm fortunate about Cali. I'm fortunate about all the different things, but I am a okay with it. For we are able to get to the next level and fight another day. Also kill this lizard. I wanted to sacrifice him, but I'm okay with what just happened. You know what keeps happening though? Me getting extremely lucky by not destroying this damn jar let's see if the damsel is over on this corner sometimes it happens ah let's just go find ourselves some good sacrificial lambs with the these pile of explosions makes no uh, I, I make no bones stop stop, stop it <laughs> you filthy damsel you're leading me to my own death by running away in this manner I got to actually put a little bit of thought into this. All right, there you go. It's all done. Kapa early Kapala, sign me up 
everything. I told you that we would make up this deficit. Nothing can stop me now. Hussah! <laughs> Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. I need a key. The key is right here. Might as well grab it with my grubby little hands. Put them... Put this key in the place. And we will carry on. All right. Uh, if I could uninstall just Velgress from UFO 50, I would. <laughs> I, it would be the most rage uninstall that I have ever uninstalled. I am so mad at Velgris from UFO 50. I did get the win at the end, but man, is that game plagued by RNG unfairness. I accept it. I know that it was, you know, part of the experience. I think we want to alert this guy and then uh, just get out of the way, see what he's going to do. But man, it was some rage. It was some baby rage trying to get a winning run of Elgris. I did make it to the cherry opportunity. You'd be able to, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's a cool little arcade game, very Twitch reaction kind of thing, where you are ascend through a never ending tower and it's frenetic action. Very, very difficult. I would say it's probably the most difficult game in UFO 50 that I have encountered so far. Uh, extremely short. It only takes three levels of about five minutes each to win. But holy crap, was it... it they're in tense minutes. Yeah. And if you gather enough keys from the mega birds that you fight, you unlock the final level to get through. Was unable to win against the disgusting garbage boss uh, on the other... I forgot that. <laughs> I forgot that we did not have jizz on our, on our bombs. There you go. We go to Volcana. We are Cosmic Ocean guys. Of course we go to Volcana. Uh, okay, there's nothing really to be gained by dithering in this place. But yeah, it's the game that I've raged at the most. Second in line. Paint Chase. I also got the victory, but you will not catch me dead attempting a cherry on pain chase. It was too infuriating. <laughs> it's just too it's just difficult. It is just a really difficult puzzle racing game. Okay, there's no nothing to be gained by interacting with this man in any capacity. Really need to be careful to shoot into the abyss at any point because bullets can come back right to your face in Volcana. Wow. Some pretty ass drill spawns we've getting we've been getting lately. I kinda screwed myself coming this way. Tried to wait this out. See something like something like that. That definitely works. Yep, yep, yep. That'll that'll get me places. Let me see the leaderboards. I've been checking the leaderboards to see if there's at any point a daily challenge where somebody doesn't make it to 7.99. That will give me a little bit of hope. After I get utterly humiliated, I would like to see the top, but you can't see the top, I don't think. You need to actually scroll all the way to the top 10 or just hit me. I would love to see the top 10, but no. You need to scroll all the way up to see who is the first. Derek, come on, fix this up already. It has been, what, 40 years since you released this Splunky 2? I cannot get to the top 10. Probably there is a way of getting to the top 10, but I'm just being really obtuse. $7.99. One day, there's not going to be anybody on $7.99. They'll all die in $7.15, and I'll make it. I'll make it to $7.16. And it is by score, okay? Because there was also a comment saying, oh, it's actually sort of by how far they got and also by time. No, 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 sir or madam. That is the other category right here, uh, the, the speedrun category. Uh, this one is sorted strictly by how much money you made, how far you got. That is absolutely not true. <laughs> Look at these people. 
Please don't do this to me. Don't do that to me. No, because they, oh, yeah, yeah. First is how far they got. And then if they got far enough, it gets sorted by score. All right, all right. I was starting, I was going to have a freaking conniption. I was about to put a gun in my mouth and pull the trigger, saying that it wasn't score, it's how, how fast you go. But no, that is not true. It is not true whatsoever. There's my competition. One day, look, they may have skill. I have determination. <laughs>